Well, after years of planning and raising funds and months of building and renovation on our site, uh, St Paul's opened its facilities to the very first students of the International Chinese School at the beginning of 2015. Uh, the vision behind ICS, uh, driven by the leadership of St Paul's, was to provide a private, low-fee, bilingual education on the North Shore of Sydney. At the time of its opening, it was in fact the first Mandarin English bilingual school in Australia. It was always the dream that ICS would grow and become a fully functioning, independent primary school serving the North Shore of Sydney and would therefore outgrow the St Paul's site. Uh, the initial plan was to secure a long-term site within the first three years of operation. However, five years later, I am pleased to say that that has now become a reality for ICS. Uh, over the last year, they have been developing a site in St Leonard's uh, near Royal North Shore Hospital. Uh, there's been a couple of delays in their moving there, but they are now looking to commence lessons there full-time at the beginning of Term 3 this year. Uh, it would be a wonderful celebration uh, for the teachers and the students and the families currently home learning uh, to come back together for the first time and permanently in their brand new home in St Leonard's in Term 3. Now, as Parish Council has been anticipating ICS vacating the St Paul site for some time now, uh, they've been working on a plan to continue to steward our property, our largest missional resource for the Kingdom of God. To this end, uh, representatives of our parish council have been negotiating for over 12 months now, 18 months, with the Anglican Church Property Trust, the Standing Committee of our Diocese and Hillsong Child Care Centres to establish an early childhood education centre on the St Paul's site here in Chatswood. We are pleased to announce that all parties are now in agreement for the child care centre to be established on the St Paul's site for an initial period of 10 years with the hope of extending it beyond that. The next major step for us is to lodge a development application with Willoughby Council. Now this will take some time to pull all the necessary documentation together and the approval process could in fact take months. So please can I encourage you in this moment to give thanks to God for the International Chinese School and its growth and pray for our new gospel venture here at St Paul's that it might serve our community with the gospel, that it might young, impact young families with the gospel and it might have the added benefit of funding our ongoing ministry at St Paul's.